Hey, and we're still here. We didn't die because, you know, uh, some crazy guy with a machine gun didn't come to our houses and shoot us. Oh, wait, that's me. Yeah, about that. <laughs> what? What about that? Well, it's it's just, you know, you, you kind of ruined my garden. <laughs> well, those damn platoons deserve it. A bit of warning it. next time. <laughs> I did, for those of you who weren't aware, I just shot a garden. I didn't even shoot a house. <laughs> You're my goal. You will die for your betrayal. Well, 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 no, what, what, uh, I was having uh, a party, and everyone was in the garden, and you just killed everyone. <laughs> so when I came out with the drinks, everyone was dead. <laughs> I hope you, you understand the inconvenience. <laughs> Dustin's dying. This is, it's God's revenge for what I did. Not to the people. Not, not to the people. Next story. Not to the people, <laughs> the garden. And by the way, you know why I shot all those people? I don't, I couldn't remember what you looked like, so I just assumed if I killed all of them, you were going to be oh, there. Well, well, it was, um, it was, everyone was dressing up as characters from Chronicles of Narnia, so. <laughs> okay. Now to the story. So, uh, now, you know there's a Young Justice cartoon coming out, right? Yes, I do. And just so I can get our uh, our standard amount of King being happy, Greg Wiseman's attached. And uh, one thing that people were kind of curious about was, um, with all the people in the image, like the uh, promo image they put out, why is uh, Aqualad black? Because that's one concern we had. And the one thing I loved, there were many people arguing that he wasn't black, he was just tan. Like Lex Luthor was in Superman the Animated Series. <laughs> because people people assume, and I did assume this for a long time, that they made him black. But it turned out they just made him very tan, and he just came off as African American. And uh, recently, uh, it was announced that a new African American Aqualad is going to be in Brightest Day. You know, because we need to stay current, and apparently... Um, Dead Man isn't happy about this from the <laughs> look at the image. He's, uh, we don't know about his origins, obviously. He it will be explored in, uh, in, uh, Brightest Day. But I do know this. He lives in, like, the middle of the desert in New Mexico, so why he has water powers is going to be really weird. Uh, how, how, just how he could possess them is odd. Uh, and I am reading uh, Brightest Day right now. I am thinking of, like, I don't know when, but I'm doing of like doing a review of like the first chunk of it because I'm I'm torrenting it, doing a review of the first chunk of the issues since it is biweekly as we mentioned before in our very interesting conversation. Yes. You have really nothing to say on this, do you? I really don't, sadly. Well, that's because you're that's because you died by my hands. No, you didn't die, did you? I wonder what happened to King. What did I shoot when I visited King? Oh, oh no! You shot King. <laughs> okay. Oh no! No, it was a legion of his uh, his PlayStation cronies. Because <laughs> we all—it's just a bunch of guys in like black jumpsuits with PlayStation on the front. They <laughs> all—they—they <laughs> uh, they, they all just spew out random lines from his favorite video games. <laughs> oh no, no! 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 His cronies look exactly like Nathan Drake. <laughs> And, and, ba and Batman. <laughs> yes. Oh, and and uh, oh, and just to screw with them, uh, after I killed those cronies, I dressed all of them, even the Batman and Nathan Drake, like uh, George Clooney Batman, just to piss them off. <laughs> <laughs> just to piss them off. <laughs> oh God. No, 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 no. I dressed all the Batman like George Clooney Batman, and I dressed all the Nathan Drakes like Mister Freeze. <laughs> so, suppose you were paying attention. I said the Greg Wiseman thing to make him happy. Now I'm saying all this stuff to piss him off. So, next story. Okay, so um, there are going to be two new Thor miniseries. Ease, ease. Well, and no one understands why. It's not like there was any uh indication that there's a film coming out or anything like that, right? Yeah, no, the, 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 it's just completely out of the blue. Yeah, they're just like, yeah, hey, Thor's pretty cool. 
Uh, yes, yes, yes. Obviously, this is uh, especially the first one um, we're going to talk about. Uh, there's here are the two series: Thor, First Thunder, and Thor for Asgard. Now, first, first, I can't say words. Uh, the first fun Thunder. Yeah. My speech classes are coming back to haunt me. Uh, it's basically going to be um, Thor Year One is the best way to put it. It's going to be them um, re re exploring his origins. I mean, I, I didn't really think they've ever really done his origins. Yeah, yeah. I don't think like it. I don't know a lot about his origin. I did. Did JMS really touch on that at all? I can't remember. Not really. I mean, it's kind of just given he's a god. You can't really... Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they haven't done something like that. And this is perfectly fine. This one I'm probably going to read just mm-hmm. because yeah. I... And God forbid you and me actually go on the internet and do research. No, go, that can go to hell. Uh, <laughs> knowing knowledge is stupid. I want to learn it in a series. <laughs> yeah, but I, I reckon I'm, I'm, I'm going to pick this up. It is, be, it is being written by uh, Brian J.L. Glass, who... Uh, the only thing I could find was he did this. He uh, was the writer of Mouse Guard, and uh, that is um. Uh, I don't know if you're aware of that. I do know it actually is like a well-known indie title. It's uh, also done by Michael Oming, and the art's being done by and and folks. This isn't even me not knowing how to say something. This name is just weird. Tan Ing Hut Hat Who Hat. And now we... St- hey, look, that's that crack in the t- in space-time continuum after I mispronounced something. It's going to kill us all. <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's like from Doctor Who. Uh, exactly. Exactly. Oh, my God, Rory just got sucked. I don't care. <laughs> that, was, that was really depressing. Yeah, I know. That was bad. You know, probably one of the most and, and that's know, depressing that's things they've ever done on that show. <laughs> wow, really? The the doctor's daughter that, you know, he's known for a couple hours died by a gunshot. That was pretty yeah, interesting. I, 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 I really didn't, I don't know, find her interesting or yeah. related. Yes, but they made that so depressing. Yeah, you're right. That, it, that, and that's the newest one I've seen because the website I used to find the uh, episodes um, is has been shut down because... <gasps> I can't imagine why, and I can't find like good torrents I could use and all that jazz. And the thing is, uh, my I have a friend who watches it. Who's a girl who uh, has been keeping up with it through on American television, and we're three weeks behind now because mm-hmm. we took a week off. She just saw the one with the Dream Lord. <laughs> she kept asking me if this, uh, if, if I was in the dream, which uh, if I was in the real world, the Dream World. And I said, I don't care if this is the Dream World or not. I have a girlfriend in this world. <laughs> <laughs> but what about the crazy old people who will kill you? There's a girlfriend. <laughs> and and she's far behind on that, and she really likes Rory and uh and Amy. So she kind of cried when Rory died there, even though it was fake death. So I can't yeah, imagine I, her reaction when that episode comes up. Yeah, I, I, I didn't like Rory. Anyway, we're, we're getting off topic anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. The other um, series. God, we... <laughs> We don't suck. Uh, the, yeah. the other series is going to be Thor for Asgard. Which is pretty much kind of just going to be, I'm imagining like a civil war kind of thing within Asgard. Yeah, it's just like, and, and I know they've done stories like this before. Uh, Hulk vs. Thor did this kind of, where uh, mm-hmm. um, basically the setting is Baldur is dead, Odin is missing, and now uh, Thor must handle an uprising of Asgard. And uh, it's... You know, just probably going to be a nice little epic story of him fighting I mean, an army of whatever. I, I'm going to pick this up, maybe because the artwork looks brilliant. Oh, and I'll say that here, but Simon Bianchi pisses me off at times. He because there are, that looks good there. Um, try and find his run on Astonishing X Men. It looks terrible. Yeah, it doesn't. And he also did this issue of Green Lantern that pissed me off. <laughs> I but, hate him. You know, do, just from what I can see here, obviously I'll flick through it, like you know, but largely just on images. I'm gonna pick this up just because it looks cool. Yeah, it's um, being done by Simon Bianchi, the artist who we all know I love apparently, and it's gonna be written by uh, Robert Roddy. Roddy. I don't know. <laughs> hey, look, the crack got bigger, and <gasps> it just it just absorbed it just sucked in my neighbor's house, and 
<laughs> My arm's disappearing, Dustin. <laughs> we better hurry this up. Soon the news show will have two completely different hosts because we'll get sucked in. Uh, that's all we got. Thanks for our breaking news that took two parts. Thank you, Mike, for helping me. I'm you sorry welcome. you're being sucked into a time vortex. <laughs> My bad. Bye, folks. Gone!